Have you ever wondered about the origins of one of the world's oldest civilizations? Today we delve into the intriguing history of Elam, a culture that thrived in the ancient world long before the rise of Rome or even Egypt. But what does Elam actually mean? The name Elam is derived from an ancient word Elamtu, which is believed to mean highlands or high country. This name perfectly encapsulates the geographical characteristics of the region with its high plateaus and mountain ranges. It's fascinating to realize that even thousands of years ago, civilizations were named with such descriptive precision. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the rich tapestry of Elam's history in our next segment. Elam, a name synonymous with high country, was positioned in the far west and southwest of what is now known as Iran. This expansive and prosperous region was not just chosen for its high plateaus and mountain ranges. Elam's location held a strategic significance in the ancient world. It served as a bridge between the civilizations of Mesopotamia and the Indus Valley, allowing for the exchange of ideas, goods and culture. Its geographical location contributed greatly to its growth and development, making it an influential player in the ancient world. In our next segment, we will delve into the intriguing culture and society that flourished in Elam. Stay tuned as we continue unraveling the rich history of this ancient civilization. The Proto-Elamite period, an extraordinary chapter in the annals of Elam's history, heralded the dawn of written records. This epoch, which unfurled from 3500 to 2700 BCE, witnessed the birth of the earliest form of Elamite script. Proto-Elamite civilization grew up east of the Tigris and Euphrates alluvial plains. It was a combination of the lowlands and the immediate highland areas to the north and east. There at least three Proto-Elamite states merged to form Elam, including Anshan, Awan and Shimashki. To this core, Shushiana was periodically annexed and broken off. In addition, some Proto-Elamite sites are found well outside this area, spread out on the Iranian plateau such as Warakshe, Silk, a place that now a suburb of the modern city of Kashan, and Jiroft in Kerman province. Elamite strength was based on an ability to hold these various areas together under a coordinated government that permitted the maximum interchange of the natural resources unique to each region. Traditionally, this was done through a federated governmental structure. The proto-Elamite city of Susa was founded around 4000 BC in the watershed of the river Karun. It is considered to be the site of proto-Elamite cultural formation. During its early history it fluctuated between submission to Mesopotamian and Elamite power. In ancient Luristan, bronze-making tradition goes back to the mid-3 RD millennium BC and has many Elamite connections. Bronze objects from several cemeteries in the region date to the early dynastic period 1 and to a third period that in 2900-2000 BC. These excavations include Kalenisa, Bani Surma, Chika Sabs, Kamtalan, Sardant and Gulali Galbi. The end of the Proto-Elamite period marked a significant transition in Elam's history. It's a time shrouded in mystery as the flourishing civilization seemed to decline abruptly around 2700 BCE. Let's delve deeper into this intriguing chapter. Proto-Elamite period was ended in about 2700 BCE, ends with the establishment of the Awan dynasty that we will talk about later. The earliest no historical figure connected with Elam is the king called Enmebaragesi of Kish, around in 2650 BCE, who subdued it. He was accorded into the Sumerian king list that we had told before in the video of Sumer civilization. You can watch it if you want to. The Proto-Elamite period can only be traced from the records dating to beginning of the Akkadian Empire, which created by the city called Akkad onwards. The decline was not a full stop, but rather a comma in the long sentence of Elam's history. As the Proto-Elamite period faded into the annals of time, it gave way to the Old Elamite period. This transition brought about significant changes in the socio-political fabric of Elam. The federated governmental structure saw a shift, the script evolved, and there were noticeable changes in the art and architecture, reflecting the changing dynamics of the time. The end of the Proto-Elamite period was not the end of Elam, but rather the beginning of a new chapter. 
a chapter that saw the rise and fall of kingdoms, the formation of alliances, and the creation of a distinct identity that would leave an indelible mark on the canvas of history. This is one of the relic that came from Proto-Elamite period. This relic was called Kneeling Bull with Vessel, the Kneeling Bull holding a spouted vessel, Proto-Elamite period. After the investigation, the archaeologists speculated this relic was made in about 3100, 2900 BC. The artist of this relic is unknown, but we can surely know that the level of art in Proto-Elamite period is quite high. According to this relic, we can see this relic was polished very carefully and neatly. They also could carve some very thin patterns on the relic. As we journey further into Elam's rich history, we encounter the old Elamite period, a significant era that marked the establishment of the first Elamite empire. Following the Proto-Elamite period, the old Elamite period saw the rise of Elam as a major political and cultural power in the ancient world. The old Elamite period around 2700 BCE. In the historical records, it mentioned the conquest of Elam by Enma Baragesi, that mentioned in this video before. He was the Sumerian king of Kish in Mesopotamia. There were three dynasties ruled during this period. Twelve kings of each of the first two dynasties are known, came from a list from Susa, dating to the Old Babylonian period. We will talk about Old Babylonian period in later videos. There were two Elamite dynasties said to have exercised brief the control over parts of the Sumerians in very early times, include Awan and Hamazi. There were some stronger Sumerian rulers such as Yanatum of Lagash and Lugalanamundu of Adab are recorded as temporarily dominating Elam. So we will talk further about Old Elamite period in the next Elam history video. Remember to leave a comment, like and share this video, and subscribe to our channel. So goodbye and farewell.